Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at the Litcode 1472 problem, Design Browser History. You have a browser of one tab where you start on the home page and you can visit another URL, get back in the history number of steps or move forward in the history number of steps. Implement the browser history class. The browser history string homepage uh, initialize, constructor initializes the object to the home page of the browser. Then you have a visit with a string URL uh, function or method that visits the URL from the current page and clears up all the forward history. That's important. And then we have two functions backward and forward with a number of steps. Uh, then move forward and backward in history with the number of steps provided in the parameter. And obviously you can only move forward or backward x steps if you have the history greater than x. Otherwise you can only move backward or forward the number of uh, steps you have in your history. Okay, and then we have here uh, an example and we're going to go through this example. And we also have some constraints, so we only have lowercase English letters in terms of the homepage and URL and at most 5000 calls will be made to visit back and forward. And the URL length is capped at maximum 20 and the home page length again is capped to maximum 20. Okay, so let's go to the drawing and uh, let's see how we can approach this. So we can uh, consider having two data structures for, to, for the back, one for the back history and one for the forward, uh, forward history. And then we have a current uh, string, which is the current URL that's visited. So we start with glit code. And then in the data structures, we're going to uh, process the, the histories. So these are going to be stack like data structures. And uh, let's see how this would work. So first we start with glitcode.com. That's fine. Excuse me. And then we go to google.com. So I'm going to just say GG is, is the new Google is the new uh, is Google. Okay. And then we remove LC from the list from the current and we add it to our backward history. And then we visit Facebook. So we remove Google from the current and we add Facebook to our backward history. Uh, sorry, we add Google to our backward history. Google. And we are now at Facebook. And then we go to YouTube. So we add Facebook to our back history. And we go here to YouTube. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, we have our first three visits and then we need to go back one step. And for that, we remove Facebook from the back. We put YouTube to the for, uh, forward history. And our current will now be Facebook. Then we do back again, we remove Google from the back history. We set Facebook to the forward history, uh, we add it to the forward history and we remove Facebook from the current because now the current is going to be uh, Google. Okay, and then we go forward one step. So we remove Facebook from the forward list, from the forward data structure. We put Google to the back. And Facebook is going to be our current URL. And then once we are here, we visit LinkedIn and now we remove YouTube from our forward history because again remember we clear the forward history when we do a visit and we put Facebook onto the back history 
and are current to now be linked in. Okay, uh, that's fine. So now we go forward two steps. Well, there's nothing to do because our forward history is empty. And then we go backward two steps. So we go backward once, we put LinkedIn onto the forward history. We remove Facebook from the back history, uh, yeah, from the back history. We put Facebook as our new current. Then we remove Google from our back history and we add uh, Facebook to our forward history. We remove Facebook from our current and we set it to Google, right? And now we have another case where we go back seven steps. But notice that we only have lead code, we have only one element in the back history. So we're going to say Google is going to go to the forward history. And we're going to remove lead code from the back history and set it to our current URL. So current URL will now be lead code. And we'll, we will not have any back history because it's empty. So we cannot can go only one step back, not seven. And then uh, we still have some in the forward history, but uh, those are currently not visited. So that's the state that we are left with at the end of this, uh, this uh, or all of these uh, steps that we performed. So now that we've seen this example, let's go to the code and see how this works. Okay, so here we are at the code. So we're going to start with uh, string current. And we're going to set current is home page. And then we're going to have a vector. You can also use stacks, but uh, we use vectors for history back and history forward okay so now when we visit we said we're going to clear history forward and we're going to take uh, we're going to add current and we're going to say current is the new URL and we clear the forward history okay so now we have visited the page and if we want to go back we're going to say while history back not empty and steps we're going to uh, move uh, our current to the forward history I'll just call it core okay and then current is going to be history back back <coughs> and then from history back we pop back we remove the element and we return current And similarly for forward, while history forward 
not empty and steps. I forgot to update steps by the way here. Let's go into steps. History backward push current. Current is history forward dot back and history forward dot pop back. So we remove it from the back. Okay, so we set the new current and we return it. So let's see. History back. Push back. I'm using a vector. Push back. Push back. History back all right accepted let's submit this and accepted so in terms of the complexity analysis for time complexity we'll have o1 for visit because we just use pushback which is constant in time we push to the back of the vector and then we have minimum of the size of the history which can be maximum in terms of the number of urls visited which is n or uh, we have m the number of steps so that's the time complexity minimum of, of, of n and m for backward and forward and it's going to be o1 in terms of the visited urls for the space complexity for the two uh, vectors the hist back and hist forward that's it for the time complexity and space complexity. Uh, we can also check it here uh, in lit code, and it's going to say O1 for visit and min of O of N M for back and forward. And analyze complexity for the memory is going to be O N. So you can see it here as well. That's it for this problem. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more C++ problems. Thank you and bye.